Hi, welcome to day five of 12 days of single message transform videos and blogs. My name is Robin Moffat. I'm a developer advocate at Confluent. Today, I want to show you a single message transform that you can use with Kafka Connect that lets you mask fields of data, both as you ingest them into Kafka using a source connector, or as you stream them from Kafka down to a sync connector. So this is great where you've got uh, telephone numbers in a source system and you're streaming that data in, and you actually want to mask those out at ingest. Or where you've got data in a Kafka topic and you've got all those kind of like personally identifiable information, and that's fine but you're streaming it down to a target system where you need to retain the schema, but you don't want to send across that actual data itself. So you want to mask out um, credit card numbers or whatever data is you're sending down to that target system. So let me show you a source connector that we're going to create to start with. That This uh, source connector, it generates data, but uh, for the purpose of what we're talking about here, this could be any source connector. It's pulling in data from a database or a message queue or a flat file, and it's got data that's writing into a Kafka topic. So we can have a look at the data that's in that Kafka topic, and the data looks like this. So we can see we've got information about a customer, we've got their last name, we've got credit cards, we've got their first name, phone numbers, all this kind of data that we may or may not actually want to be storing in Kafka itself. So this data is coming from that source system in a source connector. So we can actually modify our source connector to include our single message transform. So this is what it looks like. We've got our exact same source connector as before, so that same configuration as before, but now we add in this configuration at the end. We say we're going to add in a transformation. I will call it mask CC because what this is going to do is it's going to use the mask field single message transform. It's going to apply it to the value part of the message. That's what dollar value means in the type of the single message transform. And we're going to apply it to these two fields in that source data. So a credit card number and the credit card expiry date. When we find those fields, we're going to replace their contents with whatever we put in here. So in this case, we're going to put the, the literal string masked. So what we're not doing here is actually dropping those fields. There's a separate single message transform for that, and I'll talk about that another day. What we're doing here is we're retaining those fields in the schema. We're just saying, yep, we know what it was at the source, but when, by the time we write it into Kafka, we'll mask those fields out. So we create that. Um, and that's created ourselves a new connector, which is writing to a new topic. And if we have a look at that topic data, we can see it looks like this. So now we've got the same kind of information as before. We've got their address, we've got their phone number. But now when we get to a credit card information, you can see here it says, well, the expiry date is masked. The number is masked. So we've got data in our source system. What I'm showing you here is a data generator, but it's still a source system. It's coming in from that source connector and we're plugging into that pipeline after the source connector has got its data coming in. But before we write it to Kafka, we're putting this transformation in there which says mask out these particular fields. So we've got data in our Kafka topic now, and we've still got some sensitive data in there. We've got addresses, we've got phone numbers, and so on. So let's see how we can apply the same concept in streaming data from a Kafka topic down to a target system. So I'll use a database because that, that's what I've got up and running at the moment. I'm going to say, let's take data from that topic that we're populating. So here's that topic that we were writing to a moment ago with our source connector. We're going to write it down to a database. And we're going to say, actually, the address field, we don't want to write that down to the target database. Like, we're going to keep the field. It's still going to be as part of the schema, but we don't want to send the contents of it. This time, we specify a different string for the replacement field. And we go and create that. And if we head over to our database, we can say show tables, and we've got a table here uh, called day five person. And if we say describe that table, it says, well, we've got the schema, we've got the first name, we've got this credit card details, we've got the full address. But if we go and have a look at the data in that table, so let's select the uh, first name and the last name and the full address from that particular table, you can see we've got the first name and last name, and then this field here, the address has been redacted. Now, what I built there, it didn't cope with those emojis very well, but emojis are probably a silly thing, or unicodes uh, like that, a silly thing to be putting in there. The point is, though, we've got the schema as it is, but we're masking out certain fields as it passes through the pipeline. We don't have to build complex applications to kind of land the data to Kafka and then go and process it and write it to a separate topic. We say, 
data from that source system that we don't even want in Kafka, it never actually enters the Kafka broker because the Kafka Connect processing, it takes data from the source, it masks those fields before it even produces those records to Kafka. If we've got data in Kafka, we want to write it down to a target system like we've just done here. We've got that data in Kafka as we want to keep it, but then as it leaves that Kafka topic, it goes through Kafka Connect Worker, through the connector task here, the transformation says this particular field here, overwrite that with the field that we've said is the replacement value for it. So the mask field, single message transformation, very useful for masking fields of data. Subscribe to the channel, you'll see loads more videos, there's some really useful talks that I've done about uh, Kafka, about uh, Confluent Platform, things like Schema Registry and KSQL DB, and all sorts of really useful things to help you build event-driven applications and analytics platforms around Kafka.